Well, some disturbing new details about the criminal history of a West Michigan man arrested last month for a 1980 murder in Virginia. Our Michael Martin has been going through some of Dennis Bowman's old cases, and now he's hearing from a private investigator who's been doing the same, Michael. Yeah, Doug Annie as Dennis Bowman sits in an Allegan County jail cell fighting extradition to Virginia on that murder charge. Disturbing facts about his previous arrest continue to come to light. In addition to an attempted sexual assault charge in 1980 involving a young girl, Bowman was also arrested in 1998, accused of breaking into a co-worker's home to steal lingerie. And this private investigator I spoke to believes there are even more victims out there. I think there's a lot more to this story than what's just coming out. I think he's probably responsible for several other, you know, abductions or murders or, you know, crimes. I really do. 70-year-old Dennis Bowman was arrested in November for the 1980 murder of Kathleen Doyle in Norfolk, Virginia. But even before this arrest, there were suspicions that he was somehow involved in the 1989 disappearance of his adopted daughter, Andrea. Though she remains missing, Bowman has never been charged in her disappearance. If you kind of look at the circumstances, it seems like he's probably a habitual offender. When looking through Bowman's criminal history, there is just a single reference to his adopted and still missing daughter in the case file for a 1998 arrest. Bowman was being sentenced on a breaking and entering charge and wrote a letter to the judge in the case. In it, he says, I am the father of two lovely daughters, one 25 and the other 11, and feel that being a parent is one of the most important and sobering things a person can undertake. I thought that was really suspicious. I think that was an attempt to lessen his sentence by saying he had to support two daughters when, in fact, he knew that Andrea had been missing since 1989. In that 98 case, Bowman was accused of breaking into a female co-worker's home while she was out. A police officer made contact with him on the property, Bowman allegedly saying at the time he was having a bathroom emergency and had went to her residence in order to use her restroom. Police didn't buy his story and eventually searched his property on 136th Avenue. They actually found when they searched his um, outbuilding, they had found a black duffel bag in there that had a sawed-off um, shotgun. It had a black mask, a black sweatshirt, some women's lingerie, and some of that lingerie belonged to the woman's house that he had broke into. Bowman admitted in court that he did take several items from the woman's home, eventually pleading to one count of breaking and entering, with several other charges being dropped. But private investigator Cindy Collian believes he had other intentions with the woman. You can't explain why someone would carry around or, or keep a duffel bag with those items in there if they're not planning on doing something. I mean, it makes no sense. His attorney in a sentencing memorandum filed with the court said Mr. Bowman sought counseling on his own. Mr. Bowman wanted to find out why he was doing the things that got him into trouble. He was eventually sentenced to five years probation in the case. I think he had a little bit more on his mind than just peeping at her at night. I think she was a very lucky woman because I think she probably could have been next. Now, as we reported, Bowman was also charged with trying to sexually assault a teen in 1980, just months before Kathleen Doyle was murdered in Virginia. He served six years in that case of the attempted assault. For now, though, live in the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you, Michael.